Hey everyone, it's Bobo the Vulture. Time for some more Gran Turismo. As you may recall from last time, because I think while it was essentially a fail reel, I'm going to keep it in the rotation just because. Showed you guys another car, and that's as much as any of these things do. But the uh, situation is a little bit different from uh, the end of the last video. For one, I in this game I've never purchased that car, so I still have all the money I would have used to get it. Also went in and won some championships again, so I'm back over half a million credits. And let's see, I had the Super RZ, the GT or the Ventura, the Prison. And then I want the Cerebra, the Concept Car, and the Camaro. But then I also went back and won some other championships a few times and got this. The Honda Del Sol LM Edition. No, folks, this isn't a real thing. There was a Honda Civic Del Sol. It was not a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car with 563 horsepower. That never happened. <laughs> but seems like a good deal to me. You know, for a mid-engine car, it's got an incredibly short wheelbase, I would think. As I recall, this car was very fast, but very tetchy to try and drive. Oh, one thing I wanted to check here. I need an A International for the Tune Car. Championship or whatever, so I wouldn't be able to enter that right now anyway. USA versus Japan. Okay. Japanese and American cars meet head on. So apply them directly to the forehead. Now let's go ahead and enter. This is a good Japanese car. I believe this is the car I tried to uh, use the uh, 300ZX to uh, get into, and it did not work very well for the purpose. So let's see how this does. It's a pretty high little red line on that. Boy. Turns awful fast, don't it? Yeah, the car is very anxious to rotate, but at least thus far, I haven't uh, coaxed it into any variety of rotation that wasn't sort of a slow and gentle, manageable type of turn. I say, and then very nearly do so. I'm going to go ahead and pit in. Something I want to try here, and I know it's going to seem sacrilege, but I'm actually going to try driving it with the automatic transmission. Let's see whether or not not worrying about the shifting gives me a little bit more uh, mental attention to just driving the car. Actually keeps in a lower gear than I was expecting. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Yeah, it does not mind just completely uh, snapping, uh, snapping around. Which, I mean, admittedly, I probably was not driving it in the uh, most uh, neutral and balanced way possible. Still, I was expecting it to actually be a little bit less uh, forgiving and chuckable than this. This is not that bad. However, I do believe my uh, failures thus far in this uh, lap will probably uh, put me down at the uh, bottom of the qualifying order. Still, I like that. I like it. I don't care that you were sixth place. I have faith in you anyway. And I kind of liked the automatic transmission running there. I know. I was talking about how you should run a manual transmission and be a Mario. But, uh... I'm both A, being lazy, and B... Noting that uh, in order to uh, devote uh, the appropriate mental resources to uh, both driving and providing witty commentary, I feel like something ends up giving, and a lot of the time... A lot of the time, that is my driving. Uh, some of you may be arguing that no, it's more like both have to give. Unfortunately, there's a Subaru Impreza rally car in this championship. We both know how I feel about that. To the four. Hey. On the bright side, I am giving the uh, Impreza rally car fits enough that uh, he's not able to uh, speed around that uh, Viper like he ordinarily would. Actually, a lot of really good cars in this uh, particular mix of the USA Japan Championship. That wasn't a very good way to take that switch back. Yes, go, Viper. Get in front of the Impreza. It's you and me, buddy. Except that I just got past you, too. Now, the two of you fight it out. Ogre battle style. While I ride away with this win. Jeez! I don't want to spin the car around, but the car just wants to. I can't disobey the car's own wishes. It's a car. It's bigger than me. Why, thank you. Whoa, what on earth just happened there? I had to get the revs built up. Oh, no! This pretty much tears it. Come on now, let's get moving. I'll leave us move on here. 
Well, at least it looks like I might be able to catch up to the tail end. Well, this is an unusual turn of events. And quite an unusual just plain old turn for that one guy. Ha 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 ha! Unfortunately, I'm suffering my own unusual turn here. Oh, and he caught back up. Son of a bitch. <sighs> well, this is supposed to be the place where I come out and win and make everything look easy and good. That hasn't happened here. But at least the Viper GTS won against the Impreza Rally Edition. Which I believe is the results I want if I want the points for those two guys to get split. So I might keep going with this, just for the lulls. And I might keep using automatic transmission, just to see whether or not people gasp at the sacrilege of it all. I wonder if they will. I wonder, wonder, what's in a wonder ball. Yeah, and if you end up at a complete stop, you've probably noticed with a lot of these cars. But the sort of li ridiculously uh, high-tuned, uh, highfalutin uh, race cars, you just forget about getting them moving again in any variety of uh, reasonable uh, order. So, yeah. Just because, uh, they're... Because there's no issue about street drivability, like, oh, you know, how easy is it to get them to start from a, you know, more or less straight-up idle? Because, uh, you're never going to do that with one of these cars. Alright, gotta keep going. That was a setback. No doubt. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. There we go. Don't say anything. It's fine. This will be a great lap. It will be a lap of the ages. A lap of legend. It will get me on pole position. Whale. A whale. A whale. Come on. A come on. A come on. Hey, it did! I'm kind of surprised at that. Genuinely pleased. 3,000 credits, more than I got for the actual race result in the previous event. <laughs> the less said about how that turned out, the better. Let's go ahead and start the race. Let's do it. Bear in mind, folks, I'm relearning these cars for the moment, like, pretty much with all these cars. I thought about, I thought about actually, once I won this in the championship, going out and practicing with it a little bit. But, uh, ended up not doing it. And see, that's the thing about the Impreza Rally Edition. It can... It can get a massive boost out of the corners. Every time. Yeah, that car, even if it is in second place, will out-accelerate you in first. Probably not the fast way through that corner. Doesn't matter. We'll make it through. We're gonna make it on our own. We're not gonna make it on our own, folks. Are you kidding me? And occasionally with the automatic transmission, you have a situation like that where it just sort of gets confused and starts hopping back and forth between two gears. Ouch, that wasn't a very good uh, exit there. Which is bad, because the Impreza is going to catch up to us. But that's okay. We have a higher top speed than it. It's already maxed out back there. 
And that's right, I just used the wall as a brake. You do what gets you, you use what advantages you have in this game. That's the way it goes. I have top speed on the Impreza Rally Edition. The Impreza Rally Edition has acceleration on me. Getting out of these corners, it could theoretically kick my ass. Especially if I go into them like that. Come on, Del Sol LM Edition. Come on, you and me, buddy. There we go. That Impreza will never be able to catch us now. Not on the straightaway. It's already topping out. And I'm traveling on. Don't try this at home, kids. If you hit a wall going at that speed, you would be dead. I mean, probably. Theoretically, it is possible. And people have uh, survived accidents going at faster speeds than that. That doesn't mean that you should try it. People have definitely died from accidents going way slower than that. So my suggestion to all you kiddies at home, play the game. And, uh, you know, if you decide you want to go out and race something, don't do it on the street. There are walls and poles and all kinds of things that you could wrap around and hit on the street. Take your car to a racetrack where there's lots of runoff and if your car goes off the road it'll end up in a big pile of sand or gravel that will, you know, slow it down before it hits anything. And if it does hit something, it'll be a tire wall. Alright, so see, they're splitting the points. I'm only one point behind them now. I have the ability to make this a come-from-behind victory story. Isn't that exciting, Bumper? Bumper doesn't care. Bumper doesn't give a... Yeah, Bumper's a honey badger. <laughs> no, he's not, folks. Bumper's a cat. He's an Abyssinian. He's an actual, like, bred cat. I mean, all cats are bred. Like, they have parentage, but... He's... Came from a breather, is what I'm trying to say. He's a fancy cat. <coughs> Anyways. This should be a place where this car shines. The Del Sol LM Edition. LM Edition, one of the things it is supposed to uh, signify is, in theory at least, if uh, they're actually saying LM like Le Mans Edition, that it should have an un like a like an absolutely ridiculous top speed because Le Mans has giant straightaways that are like you know places where cars are supposed to be able to hit 200 plus miles an hour you know dedicated racing cars not uh, obviously if you took your uh, Camry out there that would not happen. Now somebody's going to show me superpower, superpowered, supercharged, nitrous-fueled uh, Camry that can do that, and I'm like, that's fine. And that's not the your Camry I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to denigrate Camrys' positions in the world. Wait, I don't need to see the replay. That was actually a very close uh, starting grid, uh, wasn't it? Folks. The car next to me really only off by a little bit. And it was the Impreza Rally Edition, so there you go. The Impreza Rally Edition actually has more power than my car. And has all-wheel drive. In theory, I'm outmatched here. But it ain't necessarily so. Not with the driver of my skill behind the wheels. Yes, I know. My car is also lighter. 
Let's not make this a battle of true information. Darn it, I couldn't get in front of him in time. He's just gonna pull away. I need to catch up using my awesome speed. Like this. That wasn't quite what I meant. Oh, so I can take those turns in fourth gear in this car. Because this car is so awesome. It does have some crazy handling characteristics, I'm not going to lie. Ah! Some of which involve, uh... Snapping back and forth a little too much for my liking. Out of my way. I got places to go, unlike you, apparently. You must have a meeting in Slow Town you need to get to. Ha <laughs> ha! I am a cruel bully of the racing world. Ain't necessarily so. I'm just actually going to be, uh... Ah! Sorry. Weight transfer on this car. <sighs> not good. Not good. Not the best laps here. You would think I would at least be able to put together a clean lap of the high speed ring, wouldn't you? That's just how nervous and insane this car is. Pretty much ready to uh, attempt to spin on a moment's notice. If you think you have it out into a gentle, controlled, sort of a drifting slide, be fully aware that what the car thinks it's doing is just very slowly but surely going into a complete 180 degree turn. It's okay though. We won! And we're only one point behind the other two cars, which means that the gap from first to second being, I think, three points, isn't it? No, wait, nine, six, four, three, two, one. Yeah. So, that will put us in the lead. Woot, woot. Take that, Impreza. How does that poor guy in the Viper have to feel? He has a Dodge Viper, and right now he's being beaten by a Subaru Impreza and a Honda Civic Del Sol. They're not really the cars that uh, you would ordinarily think of in those ways, folks. I know it. You know it. It doesn't help the guy in the Viper's ego, though. And man, Viper drivers? Oh, talk about some ego. Huh, huh. I actually don't know anybody who drives a Viper, so I can't really say that. But, you know, I believe when the car came out, there were a lot of sort of... It's one of those, like, you know how people get about uh, very showy sort of sports cars. It's the same sort of thing that people say about, like, very large sort of showy SUVs. They think that the driver is compensating for something. Wow, it's sort of bounding along, hoppity hop hop. Alright, let's keep things pointed in the right direction here. Let's not screw things up, Del, Del Sol LM edition. putting a lot of faith in you, a lot of hope, a lot of dreams, and a lot of hearts. Yay, come on, tell me that was a good time. You told me it was a good time! Did you guys at home tell me this was a good time? Is this a good time, folks? Are you enjoying this? How are the videos turning out, by the way? 
I um I am considering that I would like to get a new PC, a building I like I would like to put together a new PC sometime soon. And uh you know, capture device would be part of that, because right now I'm recording this on a PS3, but I'm recording it using the composite out of the PS3 as opposed to you know, component video or HDMI or anything high res. Um, because that's what my capture device will accept. Boy, that was a heroic pass, wasn't it? And by heroic, I mean ridiculous and ill-advised and probably not really physically possible. There we are now. Let's start an epic land speed record attempt down this straightaway. Or let's at least attempt to put some distance between ourselves and that Impreza. Ideally, without getting off the pavement. Ah! Some of these really cool turns of direction I mean, folks, a lot of them I don't. I only have the foggiest idea of where the car is going to end up. And then, you know, there's potential for bad things. Like that! Like hitting those walls! Of course, that looked like that blue and white stripes thing was a tire barrier. If the car had actually run into that, the, uh... It wouldn't have sort of bounced off that way. The tires probably would have uh, gripped onto the uh, sheet metal. The car would have gotten sort of turned around, maybe tangled up in it a little bit. And the uh, car most likely would have been spun around, facing the wrong direction. Certainly wouldn't have been in a uh, great position to continue driving. This car has as much rotational momentum as it has momentum of moving forward or backward from the gas. Don't quote me on that. It just feels that way. Of course, if you do quote me on that, imagine how foolish you're going to sound. You'll be quoting somebody that's known by the moniker Bobo the Vulture. It's like, well, you know, one common complaint about the Del Sol LM edition was that it had as much momentum rotationally uh, as it did uh, from acceleration and braking, according to Bobo the Vulture. People are just going to think that you've been hallucinating, that you're on a peyote fuel trip, that Bobo the Vulture is your spirit animal. Bobo the Vulture isn't your spirit animal, folks. If you take advice from me, don't do it because you think I'm some sort of... Uh, nature connected guide do it because I don't know you think I know what I'm talking about even then I would advise against taking my advice not necessarily true folks I, I feel like I have a good head on my shoulders despite the fact that I do this sort of silly thing alright this is the place that, well I mean naturally it's where this tournament's going to end so uh we have the potential here to put it away. And as so often happens at Special Stage R11, we have the potential for things to go completely and horribly awry. Place your bets now, everybody. My money is on horribly awry. If I had money to put on this. I have money to put on this, of course it would be uh, improper for me to bet on it, especially if my inclination is already to bet on going horribly awry, because I have the potential, I have the ability to make it go horribly awry. I have the power! Dessel! 
Actually, kind of think of it. Speaking of She-Ra and Del Sol, um, you folks may or may not have been aware of it, but uh, there is sort of a, um, you know, whether or not you would consider it a, a horrible sexist thing, but uh, there is a term that gets bandied about periodically, known as chick car. And, um, generally speaking, chick cars are cars that look kind of nice and sporty and stuff, but, uh, really aren't great performance cars. They just look cute, and, uh, they're generally speaking, uh, more practical. They're more likely, uh, more efficient. They're probably more reliable. They're better day-to-day -day cars than high-performance cars. And they just happen to look sort of like they might be fast, but they're not really. Um, some examples that get thrown around are the, uh, a lot of the, like, base level versions of, um, real, like, you know, high performance cars. Even though the new one has, like, 300 horsepower or something like that. Oh, really? Three seconds off and qualifying? Oh, this could be a nightmare. Um, even though the newer ones have, like, 300 horsepower or something like that, for a long time, sort of your <coughs> four-cylinder or V6 models of, like, Ford Mustangs and Chevy Camaros and things like that had a, uh, had a reputation as being a chick car, because if you were a Marion, you would have gotten the V8. But, um, Civic Del Sol had that sort of a reputation, because, um, it was fun, cute, but it was practical. It had open roof thrills, but it had this uh, replaceable hardtop thingy that uh, you could uh, use on days when uh, the weather was going to be bad. Come on, everybody. We all have to work together here. We can't let the Impreza Rally Edition get away. Can't let that happen. I won't let that happen, and I can't let that happen. Guys, just let me through. We all know that you're not winning this. Ah, oh, crap. We all know I'm not winning this. Jeez. <laughs> oh, How far behind am I now? Oh... So far behind, I can't possibly make it. I'm s so frustrated right now. And people will say, but Bobo, you have no one to blame but yourself. And you're right. That doesn't mean I can't be frustrated. That gives me all the more reason to be frustrated. Like that, the car just started s turning on its own. I didn't even adjust the steering until after it started to turn. This car is so spin happy, it will spin itself out. just because of shifts and undulations in the road. Uh. 
I didn't want to lose this championship. I mean, I know, obviously, right? Obvs. Alright, the same spot every time. Apparently, I just can't go through there carrying too much speed and even though it's commonly done in this game, expect to be able to scrub some off on the wall. Because this car will just go into a fit. I kind of don't know why I'm still racing. I'm pretty sure that we all know that even if I manage to make up this position, maybe even another one somewhere along this lap, it's not going to be enough unless the Impreza Rally Edition uh, caught meningitis. Oddly enough, meningitis is topical humor at the moment. It may not be in like, you know, a few days time whenever this gets posted. I'm trying to get a couple of episodes of this in the can, folks, because um, a lot of my gameplay time the next week is going to be taken up by the fact that I have to review a game. Um, Forza Horizon, actually. I know. I'm, uh, I am my own, I'm my publication's go-to person for driving games. Who would have thought? And yes, the publication's go-to person for driving games is this terrible at them. You can say it. I just did. No. You stay behind there. I do not want to have to, uh, ax you twice. No! Stop what you do! I don't want to have to pass you on this straight, especially since I don't know if I have enough space. Okay, I do, but even so. This is unsatisfactory, to say the least. Alright, so if I had one trial mountain, basically or done well, reasonably, at Trial Mountain. Yeah, 24 plus 6 is gonna be... Wait a second. Wait a second. What? What? Oh, we might as well watch my epic spin since I went into replay mode by accident. I... I wasn't paying attention to how the point structure was played out. This is the kind of thing where, like, real professional racing teams, there'll be a, there'll be somebody on your radio or whatever will be telling you, oh, you got to make up this position. If you do that, you'll be able to win the champion. Like, you know, you'll be ahead by a point in the championship. You're not racing that guy directly or blah, blah, blah. You know, they'll tell you, like, oh, you need to place at least to the, in this position, and if you do that, you'll be all right as long as the guy in the championship doesn't finish in first place or whatever, you know. It's all fun and games and interesting times and scenes from the gold mine. Way to go, little Civic Del Sol. Can you believe we did it? Can you believe we won? I know, it makes you want to twirl for joy. Everything makes you want to twirl for joy. And Wait, there was a GTO in this race? I know, I probably passed going by one time or another, but... There was a GTO in this race and it wasn't completely kicking everyone's ass? Uh, there it goes. Uh, thunk. Come on, come on. You... Hey, life! Sort of. Alright, that's enough of that.
I can't imagine the Impreza finished first in that race if that actually worked, if that actually happened. We were lucky enough, I guess, that I don't think the Impreza won. Maybe it did, and I just had a bigger points cushion than I anticipated, but I think I completely lucked into that championship victory. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. But wow. Also, we have a new car. Let's check the garage. I am excited to see what that will be. I am excited! Del Sol LM Edition? FTO LM Edition! People have been telling me up and down about how this is like the best car ever. So, excited about that. Turbo V6. Racing support, gear type, turn spec one. I wonder if I could, uh... I wonder if I could do even more turbo boosting to this uh, FTO LM edition. Wait a minute, was it? Um, it was all wheel drive, I'm guessing. But I'd have to check. Yeah. Um, nice looking, too. Pity they ever sold the FTO in the, the uh, North American market. This will override existing data, but that's okay. We're overriding it with victory. That was almost two videos of failure in a row, folks. I don't know if I could have handled it. Oh, I swear, I could have fainted dead away. Anyhow, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is uh, Let's Play Gran Turismo. When we come back next time, I'm going to have to figure out something else to do now. Um, yeah. We're running out of races, actually, that we can uh, compete in and finish without getting the International A license. I might just have to get that. Uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Um, and I will talk to you all then. Bye now.